Hello, this is David, Lucky Lure Tackle, here to give you the tip of the week. As you know, November 1st, trout season really takes off in Oklahoma. In Oklahoma, we have two year-round trout fishing areas, the Lower Illinois and the Lower Mountain Fork. We have six additional ones opening up come November 1st to March 31st. These are seasonal areas. Uh, if you've never gone trout fishing, some of the things you need are for the tackle is a small rod and reel combo. Something you can use six pound test line on, a lighter action rod so you can get a little more action out of the fish. You can use spinning like that. You can use the old spin cast rods with a light action. Just a regular closed face spinning reel or a little, little ultra light like that. The primary baits most people use just for fun is the power baits and salmon eggs. These two, these two baits right here in general, in general conditions will catch just about any, any of the trout in most of the areas. The small salmon eggs or the trout bait. The tackle you'll need is some small hooks, like for example the little salmon egg hook here. The salmon egg hook works on the salmon egg. You can also take the power bait, make a little dough ball, put it on the salmon egg or the salmon hook. You can use small treble hooks Little small, tiny ones, like size 18 to 20, 16, 18, 20. You want to fish those baits off the bottom. You can use natural baits. You can use night crawlers. You want a little trick with night crawlers, get you a worm blower. You can take one of these. It's got a little needle in it. It just puts a little puff of air in it, makes them float. Deadly trick for trout. You want to go artificial. There's artificial, like the Super Duper. That's the... Currently, the state record was caught on a super duper. It's just a bent little piece of metal with a treble hook on the back. You just throw it out and reel it back. It just has that kind of a crazy flashing movement to the water. It works great. Another good bait is the rooster tail. Little inline spinners, just small action. You know, they come in multiple colors, come in all different sizes. Try to stay with their smaller sizes. Just remember, the smaller you can, the smaller you can cast, the more chances you got to catch a fish. One thing you want to make sure of, though, when you go, is that every angler has their own stringer. There's a new regulation that started last year that says, on trout fishing, each angler must have their own stringer with their name and their license number attached to the stringer. So make it, get you a little stringer, make you a tag for it with your name and your license number, so that you can keep your keep your limit separate.